Hey, it's Paul with RackOutfitters.com. Here to show you the Thule Apex XT four bike swing away bicycle carrier. Here we have installed onto this vehicle that's equipped with a two inch receiver hitch. It is only available for vehicles with a two inch receiver hitch. So we currently have it outfitted with a bicycle on it. What we'll do is take this bicycle off, take the rack off, show you some of the features that make this rack unique and, and then reload the bike and continue on with some of the security features for both the bike and the rack. So let's, uh, let's get to it. First of all, we'll have to release these ratchet straps that'll hold the bicycle in place. You have three per bicycle. One here below is to connect to your seat tube of the frame, and the two at the top are to connect to the top tube of the frame. You'll notice these are durable ratchet straps with a co-molded rubber on the inside to be protective to the bicycle frame. If by chance you're only carrying one bicycle, then that bicycle needs to be positioned as close to the mast as, as we had it just then. And I'll go ahead and move the bike off to the side. Now, when we want to lower these arms in between uses, there's a gray handle here that we simply lift up on that handle. You notice that I can't get it all the way up because there's just the, simply the weight of the arms not allowing me to lift completely. So I'm going to push up on the arms slightly and then that allows me to bring the, the rack arms downward. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and detach it from the hitch so I can show you the inner workings of the stinger. It's very unique in that, for starters, it's a two inch stinger, very thick, durable steel material, but it has this unique wedge system here that is pressing against the in insides of your hitch, um, both vertically and horizontally to give it very firm attachment. On this side is what's referred to as the auto pin, so you don't have a, a loose through pin that you'll have to worry about losing. You always have it here, and this will always make sure that you have it, the, the stinger inserted to the correct depth. So let's go ahead and reload it back into place. To do that, I'm just gonna uh, lower it down onto the bottom ledge of the hitch, and then bring it vertical until it begins to go in. It should, these should be down deep enough inside to where they don't hang you up as you move forward. Next, as you move forward, you'll just press this auto pin against the side of the hitch until it falls into the hole, the opposite hole from this side that you can see, and that ensures that it's at the correct depth. Now here at the back of the rack, we just begin turning, and as I turn, those two silver wedges that we showed earlier, those will be pressing outward against the sides of the walls of the hitch, and I'm also at the same time wiggling the rack to make sure that the rack is nested nicely. Okay, so here you'll see this is a turn knob. It's mainly plastic, but it's totally protected by this lip that's steel. So if you happen to have low ground clearances and there's ever a condi condition where you may scrape that, you're gonna scrape the steel before you scrape this plastic. Now I'm inserting a key into the lock, and now you have security for locking the hitch the, the rack to the hitch. So that just spins freely. So that's how that works, is there's, there's no way to take it on or off when that spins freely. When you unlock it, now it can allow you to unscrew it and take it off and tighten it further if need be. So that's how the security works for locking the rack to your hitch. Next, let's demonstrate the swing out feature. This is something that makes this rack unique and that it allows you to have the bicycle rack fully loaded with four bikes and still access the back of the vehicle. So I currently have this knob loose. I'll lift up on this quick release lever and then the, I can allow the rack to move outward. You'll notice there's another switch right here which will engage once it's fully outward. Also, you can imagine that the bikes would hit the side of the vehicle, so here you turn that and it, it allows the bikes to be at, at the angle. So of course you have full access into the back of the vehicle at that point with no interference. And that would, Thule has engineered this with the, the specifications and dimensions to where that's gonna be the case on just about every vehicle with a hatch like you see there. A test fit is always required to know with 100% certainty. So I'll go ahead and lift that lever, press this button down, and then rotate it back. And now what's important here you notice you have, you can see the workings here. You have that thread, and then here you have where it engages. 
So you want to make sure that, that the flat edge of this and the flat edge of that are flat against one another. And so you, you push those together and then I can, you can begin turning. If you feel any resistance whatsoever, you may not be in perfect alignment. So it should just be completely easy, as you see, to tighten it. You see this little plastic ring here with the bumps? That's designed so that as you get close, it's sort of a, a clutch mechanism. So once you have that nice and tight, there's no way to loosen up on you. So it's, it's fully tight and that can't come loose. And so what's, what that's doing overall is putting these two pieces so that they're completely firm. So not only is it firm in between the intersection between your stinger and your hitch, but also the swing out unit is very, very firm, stiff, strong, with no play anywhere among all these different hinge points. Okay, so let's load that bicycle back up again to show how that works. So again, if it's your first bike, usually you want the biggest, heaviest bike up close to the back of the vehicle. And when you go to lift the bike, you wanna lift, grab the bike down at a low position and lift, and then get that rear seat tube frame strap tight first. The cradle too, it has rubber to give good, good uh, protection to the frame. Okay, so now that's on there securely. Now when you put the second bike on, you'll notice this for the seat tube is on the opposite direction. So the other bike would be facing the opposite direction. If you want, you can even hide this particular piece completely. There's a way to take this part off and just tuck it up in there out of the way if you don't need it. So it's designed to where you can just have it nice and clean and, and it's not even there at all. But in this case, we'll, we'll put it back. Let's see, it goes this way and snaps into place. Now, if Thule has also designed this XT version with more space in between each bike, so that gives you more, more space for each bike so that there's less likelihood of you having conflicts between bikes. If you do, if you are presented with a situation where you're starting to get, to get bikes that is difficult uh, to uh, fit all the bikes on, a good technique is to loosen up the bolt temporarily on your stem and turn it sideways to make the bike much narrower. And that, uh, that can be a, um, a great way on a long trip to make sure that all the bikes fit on there with, with fewer conflicts. Now from security, we mentioned earlier that the rack is locked to the vehicle. Now we wanna lock the bikes to the rack and conveniently you have an integrated cable that extends out from, from the mast. This is a, a very heavy duty, cut resistant braided steel cable that locks down into the front of the rack here. And so by doing that, it's essentially creating a, a lock. You've got the steel arm, you've got the steel cable encompassing the frame giving you a, a very good theft deterrent. And one of the key things about having a theft deterrent is it's convenient to use so that you're more likely to use it. Um, yes, this isn't as, as strong as a U-lock, U but a U-lock cannot be built into this rack. So this, this provides a good level of security uh, for, the, for the most number of bikes and, uh, and it's very convenient to use. If you wanna supplement with additional security for wheels that might be expensive or, or just overall expensive bikes, definitely consider doing that. So the last thing that we uh, wanna show is the safety strap that's included. Also the safety strap here will, is a, this is a good example where you have this front wheel that wants to swing around. You run this strap through the front wheel, behind the mast, through the back wheel, and then you'll see when you pull that snug, that's gonna keep that front wheel from swinging around. Also, it's, it is a safety strap. So in, the, in a worst case scenario, it's gonna keep all the bikes near the rack and just kind of keep things stable. You've got plenty of excess. By the time you have four bikes on there, you're likely to use the majority of the strap. But if you have excess, you can tie that excess off. Okay, so those are all the key features of the Thule Apex XT Swing. This product, along with the full line of Thule products, are available at rackoutfitters.com. Please see the link in the video description for complete details, our pricing, and our promotions, and thank you for watching.